hi this is Zidane tutorials and in this video we are going to learn how to outline text in Adobe Photoshop so I have got this document in Photoshop with a text layer which I have created using the type tool now I need to create a boundary or an outline for my text and I need that to cover each letter of my text so in order to do that I need to uh, go to my layer panel and here I need to right click on this text icon or this text layer I will right click on it and it will open up this uh, drop down and in the drop down I need to click on the first option the very first option that is called blending options so I will click on it and it will open up these layer settings for me so I will keep this dialog to the right of my screen so that whatever changes I make are visible to us uh, in this uh, section of the text anyway in these blending options uh, we need to look for a setting called stroke it is right here so that is why it is uh, difficult for a lot of new designers to find this feature because uh, because of the, because of its name because it's not named as outline or boundary it's called stroke so what we need to do is we need to click on this checkbox and then we need to click on this name as well this is really important because if i will just check uh, check this checkbox uh, the settings will not appear this feature is enabled but the settings are not here so I need to click on it as well you see now I have, now that I have clicked on it uh, these settings have appeared now on, in this right section so these are the stroke settings and by stroke I mean the boundary or an outline and here you can see uh, if uh, at the moment the size is just two pixels and if I move it to the right by dragging it you will notice that now my text has this boundary or an outline to it so this is how easy it is uh, and uh, i will explain all these settings to you so that it's easier for you uh, for uh, your requirements so the first option is pretty simple all you uh, you just need to scroll it to the left right in order to increase or decrease the size or width of your stroke or outline and it is in pixels so you can be specific as well by writing or typing down some particular number now the second option is position at the moment it is inside so what does it mean by having this position inside or outside is that if it is inside and I will increase the size you will notice that thus width of stroke is uh, increasing in size internally okay but if I will select it as outside then if I will increase the size it will get increased externally to my text okay so again it depends on you and your requirements uh, which one you prefer you could go um, through all these settings to see which one is more suitable for you so I will keep it inside for now and I will decrease keep it size to this much okay moving on next we have blend mode now this is a entirely different topic where you could uh, implement uh, or execute some blend mode to the stroke of your text now if you do not understand what are blend modes I have another video tutorial in this channel I will leave its link in the description or at the end of this video where you will you will be able to understand all about blend mode because that is an entirely different topic and uh, we don't need to get into that in this video so I will leave the link uh, in the description you could learn about those uh, from there moving on to the next option that is opacity uh, opacity by opacity it means the transparency so I could decrease the transparency of my stroke and remember uh, by this opacity is only dealing with the stroke or outline of your text it, it will not decrease the opacity of your text itself or the fill of it so just the boundary of it you see it was it, it's in black color and I'm as I'm uh, reducing the opacity it is becoming transparent 
so again it's my choice uh, or your requirement moving on we have got fill types uh, and here it has color gradient and pattern now before we uh, move to gradient and pattern let me uh, cover the color part first so uh, by default you will have color here and uh, you can change the color from here you just need to click on this black color box and it will open up something like this it may appear a bit different depending on your version of photoshop so from here uh, we could change the color of our width uh, or uh, outline of the text so as you can see i have uh, picked this bluish color so it has uh, replaced the black one with this blue one so this way you could change the color and once you like you could uh, you can just press ok and it will get implemented but for now i will keep it black and ok now uh, as i mentioned earlier the second option is gradient and the gradient is a sort of um, and a feature that enables us to make colors in uh, multiple colors at the same time with gradual changes so this is the default one it is black and white and here you can see it is no more a plain color it is now a combination of two colors black and white which are blending with each other so here uh, there are more um, gradient colors available for us but uh, these are not just the only ones you could just um, change it to a different color color scheme as well by just clicking on this color bar if you click on it it will open up this gradient editor and from here you can change these colors by uh, from default ones to something different of your choice like this one and uh, let's keep it black okay something like this okay so this way you can pick gradient and these are all the settings related with gradient and again um, that is a different topic uh, if we want to cover everything about gradient the angle the scale and all that so i will not get into the details of it anyway this is from where you could uh, also uh, add pattern to your boundary and uh, you could implement these patterns available in your Adobe Photoshop to your text okay so these were the settings I will keep it color uh, for now so uh, I hope these uh, settings are clear to you this uh, this uh, particular option overprint is also uh, linked with blend modes okay so if you understand the blend mode then you will get it otherwise um, you could just skip this part and stick with the basic uh, outline of your text so that is uh, this is how simple it is once you are done with all these settings and once you're happy with your outline you could just press ok and that's it and now you will notice that your text layer has this effect at the bottom of it and you can disable this at uh, any time by just clicking on this eye and it will go away and if you want to bring it back you could click it here again and it will appear again so and again if you want to change uh, change make some change later you uh, you need to follow the steps again you need to right click on it go to blending options and this time uh, it will be already checked you just need you just need to click on it to bring the settings again and make the change and press ok so this is how it will work and remember uh, the stroke color and the color of the text both are different things so I can change the color of my text at any time by just uh, double clicking on this T icon and I could change the color from the top here instead of green I can uh, let's see make it pink and that's it but you'll see uh, I've changed the color to the pink but the stroke is a different entity uh, it is still black and in order to change the stroke color or the stroke width I need to go to the blending options like I showed you earlier so that's it for this video uh, there are many more applications there are many more creative things you could do with it 
for example if you want to uh, make it look like this if you make your text in the color of your background it will appear like this you see it will appear as if it has no color just the stroke so anyway that was just an example of uh, what you can do with this feature uh, i hope this video was helpful to you do subscribe to this channel for uh, videos for more videos like these uh, thank you for watching the video have a nice day